We're right in the middle of beautiful Carbondale, Illinois. The site for today's game, McAndrew Field. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the Sacramento State Hornets and the Southern Illinois Saluki. And here come the Saluki. Welcome everybody, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individuals. Sacramento State is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have... I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Sacramento State is going to win this one because of one reason. Their ability to run the football. Well, thanks guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. Sacramento State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number eight takes it at the four. Set up shot at the 29. They hand it off. And he's taken down. A gain of one. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. High formation here. Set. Hot, 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 hot. They go with the option. Lato's back. Spinning. And down he goes at the 35. A pickup of five. Third and four. Ball on their own 35. Set. Hot, hot. Inside handoff. And he's taken down. Good pickup on third down there. That's going to keep the drive alive. First and ten. And do it again, my friend. First and ten, ball on their own 40. Set. Hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Wants to throw outside, and he can't make the catch. Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. He drops back. He steps up, throws this one out to the right, and it's incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. We hear the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Southern Illinois comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Under pressure. Incomplete. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth 
It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Didn't get all of that one. And it's out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Well, the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. They'll go to work at the 48. Sacramento State lines up in a goal line set. Bounces off the would-be backward. And down he goes. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Second and four. Ball on the 42. Sacramento State comes to the line with three wide. And he's taken down. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the one. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And down he goes at the 37. The fullback gains about four yards there. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Inside handoff. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. It's second down and seven to go. Ball in the 34. They're going to pitch it. And down he goes. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. Let's take another look at that run. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He spins. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line's going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. Second and 12 coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's on the run. Pressure coming. Knocked out of bounds. Well, it pushed him out of bounds before he could make anything happen there. Whoa! Is this defense quick or what? It's third down at 13 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense lines up with 6 DB. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. The halfback couldn't hang on after that hit. Yo, I think he got his cage a little rattle on that one.
Number 38 lined up for the field goal. And he's going to need some distance on this one. The kick is up. And it falls short. No good. Take over at the 27 yard line. Number 32 alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble. And he's going to come up with a sack. Southern Illinois calls a timeout. And they've got two remaining. Second down and 14. Ball in the 23. Trips right. Back to pass. He steps up. Here they come. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Three wideouts to the right side. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. His receiver has it. And he's taken down. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it. Number 10 takes it to 32. He tries to spin. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Single set backfield. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 21 is the single setback. Setting up the play action. Looking. Watch the middle. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Seven coming up here. Ball in the 42. Sacramento State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Rolling out to the right side. Looks. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Sacramento State takes a timeout, and that was their first timeout. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Back to pass. Can't find anyone open. He's going right. 
Well, they went for it there and failed. Not a smart play called in by the coaches. This is clearly a situation where you punt the football. They'll set up shot at the 42. Southern Illinois comes out with two tight ends. Steps up over the middle. Got it. And he's taken down at the 36. The Salukis call for a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 36. The Saluki come out in a two tight end set. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. The wideout made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Number 48 is lined up for the kick. He gets it up. And it is good. Number 48 looks ready to kick this one off. We should have a return on this one. Number 10 takes it at the four. Spin move. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Southern Illinois, three. Sacramento State, nothing. Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number seven, has it at the five. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 25. Three wideouts here. They go with the run. Takes off a tackle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Sacramento State comes to the line with three wide. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. With the spin, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. The running back gives him six on the ground. Third and four. Ball on the 31. They line up in an eye. Again with the run. And he's taken down. They couldn't even get that drive started. Take the keys out of the ignition, sweetheart, because this defense didn't let them even get out of the driveway. The Hornets line up the punt. He gets it off. Number five takes it to 36. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Hey. No 
They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. Southern Illinois lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. Southern Illinois goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. And got it complete. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. What do you think of this pass, Coach? When you look at the replay here, the impressive thing about this pass is how quickly he gets the ball from point A to point B. That makes it tough on the old defense to react. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. Here's the give. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 28. They come out with four linebackers. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He tosses it short, and it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Third and one. Ball on the 20. They line up with trips to the right. Third and short, and they hand it off. And he's taken down at the 18. Two-yard pickup. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Three wide outs to the right side. He'll get the call again. Breaks one. And down he goes. They get about 10 yards on that play. The Saluki come out in a two tight end set. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. They go with the option. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. Southern Illinois will line up in a jumbo set here. Handoff up the middle. And they're in. Touchdown. Well, that's how you get it done when you're down by the goal line, coach. When you're close like this, you tell your guys, get in there, push, shove, and block. Just get the ball in the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Southern Illinois, 10, Sacramento State, nothing. Southern Illinois to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number seven takes it at the eight. He spins around. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll take over at the 28-yard line. 
Southern Illinois brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He's looking. He's scrambling. He's going to take off. Here's an opening. Spinning. And down he goes. And he comes up with a nice run. A nice run. But they kept him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. They'll throw on first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. Second and 10. Ball on the 40. Southern Illinois puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Looking, he rolls out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 40. Southern Illinois has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Looks, he's going right. Oh, great catch. And he's taken down at the 43. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. He's on the run. Bubbles the ball. Number 81 recovers a loose ball. Well, they got lucky there. They'll maintain possession. Kirk, what's the deal with these wideouts and fumbles? Well, these receivers will drive you crazy. They're not known for their ball-carrying skills. Sometimes you see them carrying the ball in one hand, sort of like a loaf of bread. It makes it real easy to fumble. Second and one. Ball in 34. Number 17 has five receivers lined up here. Back to pass. He's looking. Scrambling around. There he goes. He spins, and down he goes. So they keep him in the field of play, guys. Yeah, good pick up here on the ground, but I bet the coach would have been happier if he was able to get out of bounds on that play to stop the clock. Remember, the clock stops to move the chains, but it'll stop again once they are set. So they have to hurry up. Almost intercepted. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time player, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, the ball should have been picked off. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. Congratulations to our players of the game, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Southern Illinois has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Looking, lets it fly. He can scoot. And he's taken down. Nice stop by the defense. Well, they let him catch it, but they were not going to let him get that first down. Set. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Looks like he's going to run, and down he goes. And he gets the first down by a nose. Brad, it's all about the will of the ball carry. He got the ball and stuck his nose in there and got the yardage necessary. Southern Illinois puts six DBs on the field to catch this five-receiver look. And he's taken down. Sacramento State calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Second and eight coming up here, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. Sacramento State in a five-wide set. Back to pass. Looks. Rolls right. Now he's scrambling. He's going right. And that might have been a touchdown. And I'll tell you what, that should have been a touchdown. The quarterback was a little late on the pass, and that allowed the defender enough time to make a play on the football. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Drops back to pass. He decides to run with it. Gain of one. Sacramento State takes a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Three. 
Another fourth down facing this offense, but they did convert earlier this drive. They got to go for it on this fourth and long. He drops back. He's looking. Got it. And down he goes. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. End zone! And they couldn't hook up on that one. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Southern Illinois looked frightening out there, holding their opponents to a big, fat goose egg on a scoreboard. This was one of the better defensive performances I've seen in quite a while. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2004. And our final score in this one, Southern Illinois, 10 Sacramento State, nothing. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. of Notre Dame. And here comes the Fighting Irish. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-host, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could... You're right, and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference. Florida State needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. I like that pick, and I'm going to tell you why. Florida State has an offensive line that is sensational. And let me tell you, these guys are going to have their way with this defensive front and win this one where it matters most, in the trenches. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. Florida State has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Here's the kick. Number 21 fields it at the nine. Missed tackle. get the ball here at the 27 yard line they'll line up in the power eye they get it out there on the toss and down he goes the halfback got about seven yards there on the pitch the second down and three to go ball on the 34 There's a the play fake. Wants to throw outside. And they're going to rule him out of bounds. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in the power eye formation. Here's the give. And he's taken down at the 35. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number three, fields it at the 30. A good return. They'll go to work at the 41. Number six lines up as a single back. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 43. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Two tight end set. They're going to pitch it. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They came with a blitz that time and got to the tailback for the loss. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 39. The Seminole come out in a two tight end set. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. That's not going to move the sticks. This defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. Number 31, back to punt. He punts it. 
Number 34 fields it at the 26. So they bring him down after he picks up just a few on the return. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36. Number seven with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And he dropped it. Dropped by the tight end. Number 14, the intended receiver on the play. Third and eight. Third and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Irish come out of the power eye. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's under some heat. And it's caught. And they fail to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, Coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 19 gets it off. Number three takes it to 32. Came away with a nice return there, Lee Corso. Whoa, Nelly. That was almost a big one, my friend. They'll take over at the 41. The Knoll line up in an eye formation. The option left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Number six lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. How about that defensive stop? That's a great effort by the defensive line there. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Knowles go with the eye formation. He drops back. He's looking. Down the middle. Big opening. Broke away from one. Inside the 30. To the 10. Good catch. And can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's got to be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Touchdown, Seminole. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Here it is again. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Florida State, seven, Notre Dame, nothing.
and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. He spins. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 26-yard line. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. go four yards gained on that quarterback draw it's second down and six to go all on their own 30 Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and six. Ball on the 30. Single set backfield. Back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to be sacked. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. They send out the punting unit. Gets it away. Number three takes it at the 33. He tries to spin. Not a whole lot on the return. Well, I look at it this way. You didn't fumble, and you didn't lose yardage. What more could you ask for? They'll get the ball here at the 41. Ace backfield. On the ground, up the middle. And down he goes. So the clock continues to run. Two things here, guys. First, you have to call a play that allows your offense to get more than they did there. And second, you got to make more of a concerted effort to get to the sidelines in that situation to stop the clock. Boy, you're absolutely right. That was not a good play any way you slice it. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. In and out of his hand. Third and eight. Ball on the 43. Florida State comes out with five receivers. He drops back. Looking. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, the defense gets all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Number 34, the return man. Number 31 gets it off. Number 34 fields it at the 18. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you what, the blocking was tremendous on that play, Coach. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. They'll go to work at the 29. Hot. 
Handoff up the middle. He juked him out of his shoe. And he's taken down at the 31. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Florida State, seven. Notre Dame, nothing. Notre Dame got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number three, has it at the five, breaks one. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 22. The Knolls come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. And the blitz might have caused that one. Now the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22. Florida State lines up in a double tight set. They're going to pitch it. And down he goes. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 24. Florida State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Here they come. Wants to throw outside, and he drops it. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. They come out in a punt formation. Number 31 gets it off. Number 34 fields it at the 35. A good return. They'll set up shop at the 44. The Irish come out of the ace formation. Draw play, and they got him for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. <laughs> You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 43. Pullback on the inside give, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Third and 10, ball on the 44. Back to pass. Steps up. Wants the middle. Finds his receiver. And down he goes. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. The Fighting Irish line up in an eye formation. And they hit him in the backfield. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. Second and long. Ball on the 47-yard line. 
Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Drop back to pass. Under pressure, he pump fakes. They connect again, and he's taken down. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. They go with the run. And down he goes. The fullback gains about four yards there. Second and six. Ball on the 19. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Florida State, seven. Notre Dame, nothing. Second and six coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. Three wideouts here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Notre Dame lines up in the power eye set. And he's going to lose yards on this one. This is a great example of how to defend the run. Here the fullback has nowhere, and I mean nowhere to run. Yeah, nice job by these guys. They can be very sound defensively. It's all about the will of the ball carrier. He got the ball and stuck his nose in there and got the yardage necessary. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. And he can't hang on to it. And the wideout is kicking himself after that effort. So it's second and ten. This is the 11th play of this drive. The Irish line up in the power eye formation. Back to pass. He steps up. He's under pressure. And down he goes. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number four, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's under some heat. Coach, what can you say about that? All I can say is, that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. the PAT. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Notre Dame, seven, Florida State, seven. Number 13 looks ready to kick this one off. Number three and number one back to return. Number one takes it at the four. 
The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Have a look at our Old Spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The Knolls go with the I formation. Spin move. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. A minute to go in the ball game. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Looks. Here comes the pressure. Short off. And it's caught. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on 24. Florida State comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking over the middle. Got his man. And down he goes. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, and his kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go. He gets another, and this is a big one. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Looking. Rolls to the right. Pressure coming. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Just got to relax and just make a good throw. Going with the shotgun here. They'll run the option. Now he pitches it with the spin, and he's taken down. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Notre Dame takes a timeout. This for the win. The kick is up. And he got it. Game over. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Florida State really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2004. Our final score, Florida State 10, Notre Dame 7. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.